education, education and leadership. Thank you for, thank you, Beth, for who or whoever hit the recording there. I'm also gonna turn on the live transcript. Uh, oh, I'm not the host, so I can't turn on live. I, think I can. I'm just the co-host. <laughs> did it start? Yes, it did. Thank you very much, and thanks for wh whoever hit the recording button. So, as I was saying, Dr. Scott Shear is our presenter today, a professor in the Department of Agricultural Communication, Education, and Leadership, and. Dr. Shear's research focuses on outreach education and youth development. So without further ado, I will hand over the presentation to Dr. Shear and buckle up to learn about tips and tricks for managing your time because I probably need that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Summer, Beth, and everybody that's here today. Uh, we have one hour. I know the topic is about tips and tricks, <laughs> tips and tricks for managing your time. And so my hope is, is that by the end of this session, you're gonna have some ideas and strategies on how to better manage your time. You're gonna get some ideas from me, but we're also going to learn from each other. I'm certainly not an expert at this. I did this, I was looking, but I did some, something similar, a little bit different about two years ago. And that would have been um, shortly after we were all shut down with COVID and it was more related to managing time during a, during a global pandemic. And as I think back, I'm still working on the same things that I was working on a couple of years ago, but, but I do believe that if we think about it and put it sort of um, in the forefront of how we might manage our time, our day, uh, we can be better at it. I, I know there's some, there's some things that, that have worked for me, which, which I will share today. Um, we do have the chat box up and I know that Beth and Summer they're going to be managing that, so feel free to use that. I won't be able to look at it as much since it's hard for me to do more than one thing, uh, more than one thing at a time. And, and so they're going to be managing that. And so, again, welcome, everybody. Thanks for taking time today. It's a, it's a cloudy day, so it's good if, if we're going to be inside most of the day. I know that I know that I will be at least for a good portion. It's not raining. I do drive a motor scooter and, and did bring that in today. So I was happy that could come in um, without having to pay my $100 monthly parking <laughs> fee. I start that when the weather starts to get better. I, I drive the motor scooter. But anyway, just a little bit of background um, about this topic, but just also about myself. I've got some pics here of the, of the family. You'll see the family dog in just a little bit, but um, my better half, you can see, is there in the, for me, it's the lower right-hand corner. I guess you probably could, could guess that, but on a trip, my daughter is off to a study abroad, um, and there she is, Dosha. And this is a little plug for my son. He's, uh, he is going to be a fifth-year senior at the college that he's attending um, in Florida, but he's now in a band called SPF 50. And so they're trying to get some interest. Um, but if you get streaming music, just look up SPF 50. They just uh, released an album. Uh, he's holding the water um, cup there. He's got, he's got the, uh, anyway, that's John, that's my son. And you're gonna see my dog in just a little bit, Timmy. But anyway, family's important. Whatever your family is, it might be you and your pets. You know, that's a family, or maybe you have extended family that might be elsewhere, but. Anyway, thank you, uh, everybody. Uh, so just a little bit about time being so precious is that um, I've read too that time management is a myth because there's only so much time in the day, right? Uh, and so we only have 24 hours, but time management is real. Where I read that, they still go on to talk about things related to time management, but unless you're in a time machine, now if you are in a plane, and you are gaining time, you can add a few more times in that day. But when you land, it's going to catch up with you, especially when you return where you came from. So sorry, everybody. I mean, right now, at least we have, you know, 24 hours in a, in a given day. And, and we do have to sleep. I know some of y'all may have done some all-nighters. It's been a long time for me because I'm now uh, further along in life and my body doesn't hold up as well. 
uh, when I do that, but time is precious. Um, so just keep that in mind and that you are the one who controls and manages your time. And so that's important to realize too. It's an ongoing challenge. Again, I'm no expert. I wish I could be sitting here saying, you know what, I'm on top of my time. I'm organized and I'm not, I work at it every day. I know you all have wonderful ideas. And so we're gonna have some time to get your input too on this. And so just be thinking about how you manage your time or how are you at managing your time? That's sort of a question I'm throwing out. How are you at managing your time? You can do okay, great, not so good. You don't have to share it all, but you can put that in the chat box, just a, a short message so we can share with each other about how are you at managing your time? And so, or working at it. I know for me, it would be working at it. Um, and so, but anyway, feel free if you'd like to chime in about that. Don the demand, says, yeah, Summer. I was gonna um, help out with the chat. Don says growing every day. Yes. Don says good. Excellent. I would say average. <laughs> average, myself. anybody um, else? Okay, yeah. Trying hard with questionable results. Some days, good, always growing. Um, yeah, I honestly think with the pandemic for me, it's it's improved. <laughs> every day, yeah. Not good. Are, every day is different. Yeah, these are good. And you know, with the world that we are living in, I mean, especially, you know, as things looks like are getting better, you know, with the pandemic, some other ones are coming in. I know y'all are seeing those, right? Yeah, please take a look at those. These are really helpful. These are good. But um, right now, you know, depending on your office situation or work situation, you might have some days that are all virtual. You may have some days that you're hybrid, some days that you're in person, you know, just other challenges. So it's an ever changing environment that we live in when it comes to managing our time. And so uh, as we uh, do that, I think by doing that together, there's a lot of research and there's, I've got read a number of articles and we'll be talking about that um, during our, our short session today. Um, but a lot of it is what works for you because we all are different in how we function and operate. And so keep in mind what, is, what works for you. Uh, and maybe things aren't working that well right now. And our hope is, is that you're gonna gain some ideas, some tips and tricks today uh, for managing your time. So just some basics about time management is that I'm really good about, oh, I've, I've been busy, you know, I've been real busy, you know, and then I stop and I was Scott, okay, I've been busy. What did I do today? But hey, I've been real busy. And then, you know, I realized that I really didn't get some of the main things done, you know, that I wanted to do today. And so the point is, is that we can be busy really at anything, but then at the end of the day, not get done those things that we hoped that we could get done. And so being busy, just a point here, it's not equal to being you know, productive, depending on how you're defining productivity for what you would like to get done in that, in that given day, okay? And uh, keep in mind, it's okay to say no. I know a lot of times, you know, when I'm working with new folks, you're like, I just can't, you know, I'm new, I've got to say yes to everything. And, and you know, um, uh, that is an important point where one feels like one can't, but um, I, I know with, especially with the, the, the junior, the, the newer like faculty, you know, that I work with, um, I think when that's heard either from one supervisor or from folks that have been around longer, you know, that might be something in one's mind, you know, that when they hear it from others is that you can't say yes to everything. And so that ability to say no is important. You might, you know, over time realize, okay, there are some things that, yes, I need to make sure that I agree to or do, but you know what? We can't do everything. So saying no is okay. And um, it's nice when that's modeled um, and, and not just modeled, but where that's supported, especially by, by folks that feel like it's hard for me, you know, to say no. Uh, hey, it's okay to not be okay. And, you know, that means um, getting help, whether it's through like our EAP, our employee assistance, you know, program, 
whether it's talking to let maybe one supervisor know what's going on. We are not superheroes. I know some days it might seem like we are, but but we're not. And so uh, when those days happen, you know, realize that, you know, I can't do it all. And not to be too hard on yourself, that's not fair. That then makes it even harder. And so keep in mind, it's okay to not be okay. One nice thing about when I said this is 24 hours in a day is that the day ends and we have new days. And so that's always to me like hitting the refresh button. Sometimes I don't wake up refreshed because I didn't sleep so well, but hopefully on, 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 on many days as possible. I do. It is a different day. I wake up, you know, I have my, my big cup of coffee. I have my Red Bull. And then I had, no, I, I usually just do the coffee. Tea is showing hers. I know y'all might be showing. And, you know, whatever your routine is, it's a new day. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. And so it might be that Starbucks. It might be, it might be that Mountain Dew. Maybe it's a diet Mountain Dew. Um, so, okay. Uh, think about managing your energy. I know for myself, I would be called a, a lark. We'll talk about timing. You know, there's owls, there's larks, there's servers. We're going to talk about what you might be. Uh, that's for you to figure out. I'm not going to, and we'll talk about that. So for me, a lot of times it's the morning time where I do my best, you know, work and have my most energy. And so think about managing your time, about what you might be doing during the course of a day. So uh, like when you need to be creative, fully engaged and so forth. So just keep that in mind too. Okay. All right. How are we doing on time? Okay. <laughs> About quarter after. Okay, very good. Time flies, right? When you're having fun. All right, time busters and time boosters. This is something that I sort of have labeled. Other folks might label a little bit different, but time busters are things that hurt us when it comes to managing our time. And time boosters is what helps us when it comes to managing our time. And so, you know, let's hopefully, you know, get some booster ideas about how we can manage our time today and how can we avoid those time busters. Some days it might be really hard avoiding those time busters, right? Because so, there's something that comes up, even though it wasn't on one's agenda, it comes up and it could hurt our time, but we have to deal with it. And we'll talk about, you know, that too. Let's just, let's just dive into that a little bit deeper. And then we're going to do a breakout here soon. Some breakout rooms. Um, what are some time busters? This is not an exhaustive list at all. Okay. These are some that ring true for me, but also are straight from the literature about what we know from studies. There's a lot of studies that look at time management. Um, multitasking. Um, I know my kids talk about, I really can multitask. I'm great at it. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> uh, no. Um, and I probably had talked about being a multitasker at one time. I, I know for me, you know, let's say I've got my email up and I have my notifications on, which I've turned off. I, cause that, that is just for me, doesn't work at all. And I'm working on, let's say, a presentation, or I'm working on maybe some proposal, or or whatever it might be, or maybe it's a short article for a blog or Cleverbug Connections or something. I don't do as well because I'm distracted from one and then the other. What we know is that it takes time to start and stop something, right? So when you're engaged in whatever that task is. And then you draw your attention to something else, even if it's just email. Well, we know, believe it or not, I know some of you might say, Scott, I disagree. I'm great. I can do that. I can do this. Now that's different, you know, if you're working at, at home, you know, or maybe in the office too, whatever that might be, where you're, you're, you're having something that's being done, maybe it's during a break, uh, and then you're going back to work and that's part of your, you know, your schedule. And maybe you're just pushing a button and you're starting the dishwasher or whatever, but you're not getting up in the middle of something to go do that. You've started it, you've gone on to another task, but the multitasking piece, folks, uh, 
It's just the start and stop timing costs um, productivity because when you're engaged in something to transition to another piece, uh, and you might, we can, we can share out on this in just a little bit when we do our, our groups. So be careful with multitask, just be careful. Distractions, here we go. Email, we've been talking about pets, we love our pets. Uh, I am in the office today, this is not a picture of my window. I, I, gosh, I need to do that, I know, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and I know when I'm at home, uh, Timmy, Timmy Kibble, our, our COVID pet that uh, we got, uh he knows when i'm on zoom just like some of your pets and <laughs> they don't seem to like it before i know it he's at my feet and when we were helping this other little uh, uh, we now found a wonderful home for lucy but when we were helping her little those little bitty ones she was a great whiner but timmy now whines because <laughs> timmy learned that from from lucy and um timmy can be right at my feet and uh, anyway, uh, Timmy can be a distraction for me. Pets can be a good distraction too, right? When we're taking breaks, when we need to go for a walk. So the pets are wonderful and family, <laughs> but just be careful. Social media, uh, social media can be tricky, right? You know, um, whether you're taking pictures of the snack you're about to eat, you know, because it looks so beautiful or whether it's just going through your news feed, be careful with that. I have to say that um, I am, uh, when, you, when you think about a Rogers and, it, and social media, every, and being a laggard or being an adopter, I, I, guess I'm, I guess I'm proud, I don't know, but I am a total laggard when it comes to some of the social media platforms. I think it's probably helped me in the long run, I don't know. Um, so for me, that's not too big of a deal, but I know, I know, uh, I know it can be a big deal. So house cleaning, right? Virtually, if you're, if you're working or even in your office, you know, before you know it, you're tidying up everything because you don't want to get started, you know, <laughs> so you're shaking you don't want to get started on something because you know what? I see that dust bunny over there. That dust bunny is mine. And then, you know, you go to get the dust bunny. And then, and believe me, dust bunnies don't have to be at home. They can be in your office too. Um, I'm gonna get to one in just a little bit once we're finished here. Uh, so be careful. These are just a few examples of distractions. These are time busters. Another is lack of boundaries can be at home or office, right? Um, I, I feel like some of my colleagues might close their door uh, when I'm in because I know Beth, when she's in, she's like, uh oh, Scott's in today. He's, gonna, he's coming to talk. He's coming to talk. It's going to take me about, it's going to take 15 minutes from my day. So, you know, you got to set your, it's okay. Crack your door, shut your door, uh, you know, uh, set those boundaries because um, sometimes people, don't get me wrong, talking's good. And I, <laughs> I enjoy that, uh, but um, that can take time. So set up boundaries as needed. Working at home guilt, you know, um, I know we've been doing this a while, if that's something you're still doing. What, uh, I know I know what I found, I think many people have said this, is that you spend more time working when you are doing it virtually because you don't have boundaries. Your day doesn't start and stop when you get in and out of a car or motor scooter, or however you're going to and from work. And then before you know it, you're like, wow, I'm working at home. I need to work longer, you know, because I really, you know, I'm not in the office. Be careful with that, okay? Um, again, uh, uh, it might be 10 hours that you're, you're giving to that work day when in reality, that's not gonna help you in your mind because you're starting to be stretched too thin. So be careful with that. Snack attacks. I mean, this is not, this is not, this one, it's not from the research literature. This is from the, <laughs> this is right here. Um, and so my camera can't show you my drawer here, but there's wonderful sales right now on these eggs, these Reese's um, peanut butter eggs. So um, you can buy these mini pretzels at a really good price right now, depending on what store you go to. 
I like to say when I eat these kind bars that I'm eating very healthy, but I think it still has chocolate, but anyway. Um, <laughs> nuts are supposed to be really healthy. I'll stop here. Anyway, be careful with snacks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. Um, that can be a distraction too. So okay, all right. Um, what we're gonna do now is focus on time busters, so we can share from each other. Uh, Summer's gonna break us out in about uh, five minute breakout rooms for you to talk about what are those. These are some examples, but what are those time management busters? Okay, that you that you know are important that you deal with, and uh, we're going to uh, then share back not from everybody, not from every group. Uh, we're going to have a number of groups, right? Summer, we're about in groups of four. Yeah, three or four people per group. It looks like. And how many groups will we have? I had it at nine, but we had a couple people drop off. Okay. Well, so, anyway, we'll still eight. hear from a few groups, and then we'll use the chat box so everybody can share. All right, very good. All right, I will open those up. And so oh, it looks like I have it so people are not automatically breaking out. Here, I'll just assign. This might take a second. It did not give me the option to automatically break people out into groups. We'll get this worked out here. Very good. No problem. Almost there. Thank you, Summer. Sure. There, I think I've almost. And, and sometimes folks might have stepped out from there. Yeah, I think everybody's in a room now. But yeah, it did not give me the or no everybody being assigned. Yeah, usually, sometimes what um what I like is it just sort of a random kind of thing. Did I not... thought that it was going to do that. <laughs> I'll see. No maybe problem. for the next one, it'll do that. But because I did not get any get a option. Okay. I wonder, um, so right now, there's just a few of us that are, is, is Sarah or Emily or Tracy trying to get into a room? Um, I have assigned them. You may have to click on the, the breakout at the bottom of your screen. So you think that they're not with us right now? Okay. Possibly. I have, they, everyone has been assigned to a room, but- They just maybe haven't joined. Right. That's fine. Sometimes folks may have stepped away from their screen. All right. Hey, Don, how are you doing? <laughs> Don, are you not in a room? If you want to get in one, you can, Don. We should be able to join join. Oh, room. see, there's no one in Don. I see uh, Don. It's just you and Emily, and Emily's not there. Yeah, you don't want to be in a um, I, I came back because there was only one person in the room and I kept, you know, talking and asking if she could hear me and she, I, I think, had to step away. And gotcha. the other didn't must have, be stepped away, have stepped away too because they didn't join. And I see in Dawn, nobody was there in your room either, huh? Yeah, I got you. Sorry about that. Well, we can have a conversation here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Distractions. Time busters. My phone. Uh, 
Hi, Dawn, I think you're muted. Okay, there I am. Yeah, well, Scott, I thought about when you mentioned this, the snacks. I'm like, yeah. I can always be distracted eating. I'm like, yes, yeah. <laughs> Me too, yeah. Dawn. I'm guilty as charged. Uh, yep. I don't want to send this email. Am I hungry? <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I have. I even thought about when we first, um, when we were all remote and I'm um, working from home, I had, you know, my little setup, little stand up desk setup, and it was yeah. in the kitchen. And I had to, I had to switch it around because the kitchen was always calling me. So I'm like, okay, let me switch it around so that I'm not seeing the refrigerator from my desk. <laughs> yeah, so well, that, that <laughs> it worked was out fun. better. Yeah, now. it's amazing how just what's in your visual sight, huh? Yep. Did I? Yeah. How do we know how long it's been? Um, I'm guessing it's been probably just. Two or three you didn't minutes. set the timer. Do, is there a timer? Um, you can, but if I was just checking to see if you did, because I didn't. Um... I don't know that I had all of the options, but I'm going to go ahead and. and I think that Scott that probably should make you, Scott should probably make you host, so you have, and he become the co-host. So yeah, you, let me see if I can't do that. I broadcasted one minute to the room. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. It's it's hard for I lose track of time. I do too. Do you want to change the host to Beth Flynn? No, change it to Summer, please. Okay. Thought I clicked on Summers. There we go. So that this might be okay. Summer. You should have. It will be easier to send people to breakout rooms and everything. Yeah, and I on the might have more options. And like on the next one, yeah, that was sorry about that. So host, you have to be host, I guess. You know, if we want however many groups you had, just put in the, is it, we have how many groups, eight? Yeah. If it gives you that option and then just bam, you know, but you're right, I bet you you have to be host. It, it's a horrible feeling. Um, it's really easy, you know, when things go well, but I always have something go wrong. This, this is, hey, so we're handling it just fine, yeah. So you do it every so day. You know what's about to go wrong. I don't use breakout rooms every day. <laughs> I, I, I know. I get. I get it. Summers. I, that and that's a horrible feeling. It's like, oh crap! I can't figure out what's wrong. <laughs> that's yeah, okay. I don't either. So uh, we have how many uh, groups, Summer? Eight groups, but I think minus to... one, minus, and then there is one person that there. I would say seven groups because Don, okay. Don's group didn't. If you close now, does that give them a one minute? Yeah. Go ahead and close. All rooms. Yep. They have 60 seconds. Very good. So we'll get, we'll get a shout out from a few groups and then the others can put in the chat box. Sure. Sounds good. All right. And I'll work on the next rooms. No problem. I think, I think being host, it'll be easier. Yeah, very good. So yeah, whenever the minutes of you know summer at about sixteen seconds. Always can talk about this for a long time. <laughs> All right. All right. Everybody should be coming back now if they're not already. They're they're filing in. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. What we're gonna do is just have a few of the groups share out. We won't have time for every group, but if uh, we have a few, just um, unmute, and then also uh, could each group, or especially those that we don't have time to share out just in the chat box, put some of those um, busters, those time management busters that you all talked about. All right, um, which group would like to start off sharing a, a little bit about what they uh, discussed? Hey, Scott, I would, uh, Susie okay. Young here. Yeah, hi, Susie, yes, please do, thank you. Yeah, please. we hit upon um, 
it's kind of a mind game. But if, if you look at your day, you got your to-do list. And if you look at your day and you're, you're getting phone calls and walk-ins and you see those as interruptions, if you can just turn that around, um, a seminar leader told me once that those aren't interruptions. And what you get done that day is your work day. You have to kind of let go of that to-do list. Mm. And then, you know, you can feel more accomplished. Yes. How you, how you think about anything is, becomes reality, right? Right. Uh, very helpful. Now, are there ever any challenges where you know you have a deadline <laughs> and you didn't get to that? Uh, or, well... Or is that just you make that a different day? Um, if I can move the deadline, I, I will. But, um, you know, it's all it's all work. I guess yeah. I tend to put my boundaries up a little higher on when I'm on a deadline. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. I, that's wonderful advice. Very good. Thank you, Susie. Mm -hmm. All right. Another group. Very helpful. How you frame things? Oh, I can share. Can you hear me okay? Yes, Megan. Okay. So we kind of talked about, well, my big one was the emails. I leave my computer open when I'm working on something else. And then if I hear the ding on my computer, I check it immediately. Um, and then I shared about whenever we work from home, the animals, my dog doesn't like when I'm on Zoom. So he'll crawl and sit right in the camera screen <laughs> or try to anyways. And John had said this. John had said the same thing about his cat, but then I also talked about how I deal with that as well, like getting things done, as I tend to do things ahead of time. So I was telling my group that I had programs in two weeks and I already have everything ready to go. It's just sitting in my office, just waiting and ready to be packed up. So. Yes. Yeah. All of those can be time management busters, but then the helpful piece is, is trying to get on things ahead of time. Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, how about one more? How about two more groups? And then uh, can add to the chat box. How about another group? I, I can talk, Scott. Oh, hi, Annie. Yes. What did y'all discuss? We talked about just feeling overwhelmed kind of makes it hard for us to concentrate that the email flowing in constantly um we talked about how that what you said about cleaning rang really true like it's something you can get done and you know you're not waiting or you're not trying to get there and finish it um yeah and then personal distractions too yeah are those tough. are big ones about feeling overwhelmed because then it's hard to do anything that is very common i mean uh, and then when you're overwhelmed, time passes and then time passes. And we can talk about some, some ways, you know, to look at that, but that by itself, yes. And then of course, distractions. Thank you. Yeah, those are big time management busters. Very good. Well, in the sake of time, why don't we, unless somebody wants to chime in right now, we're gonna go ahead, if you can, um, add any other time management busters to the chat box okay so that we can see that all right Kay okay. did say something about Kay said um, phone calls and clients can be a time buster in terms of interruptions they are the job though yes yes thank you definitely time management busters all right thank you add any other feedback to the chat box so we're going to move on now sort of to the other piece um about time management and that would be boosters this is sort of this is the this is the positive side of things about you know how to help us manage our time how to boost how to help us with our time management here we go mentioned sleep already um everybody needs their sleep how much varies from person to person i know recently there was a study that for my age group middle to to older adults they say that the sweet spot's about seven hours. This had tens of thousands of participants, maybe even hundreds, but 
I know if I can get that, that is that that helps me. It does vary though from person to person. Typically, as we do get older, it, it can be less. Maybe it's six hours, but but maybe not. Um, sleep it helps our mind to recharge, and then we can be more productive that next day. A regular schedule, you know, do what works for you. Okay, sometimes to save time, you know, you might have the same breakfast every day. I was talking with a colleague that worked um, downtown and uh, with the state and she's like, you know what, my day, there's so much uncertainty. I have my oatmeal every morning and I'm happy with that. It's one less thing to think about. I do mix it up a little bit, um, you know, depending on whether I'm having my Cocoa Puffs or my Captain Crunch. It depends on the day, <laughs> not all the time, but regular schedules, uh, whatever that is for you can be a plus. Another is the Pomodoro technique that's tomato and Italian, but you know, they had those timers that you might, when you cook like a three minute egg or whatever, sometimes they're egg shaped, but there's some wonderful free apps. Um, I know I've talked about this before. I, I use this on the days, some days I use it every, I mean, I use it day after day after day, but I know on those days that I'm particularly struggling, I just go to my Focus Keeper app um, and what you do is you um, work in like 25 minute chunks, you press start. And then when that is done, I'm trying to think how I can, um, you then go to a five minute break. Um, I'm trying to make it go fast. I'm trying to make it go fast. This really helps me because I say to myself, you know what, Scott, you can stay focused for 25 minutes. I know you can do it. And I need that on some days. And um, it helps. Like if I'm working on an article or whatever, or maybe I'm working on something to get ready for my class that's starting in a, in a few hours, um, I will use this. And then when, th when this is done, it gives me a five minute break. I'm trying to get it to end. I wanna show you what it looks like. This is free. It's called, it's called uh, Focus Keeper. There's other apps too. And then let me just, uh, I'm just gonna, let's say it's just one minute. Well, I'm trying to I'll show you what it looks like. So skip. So end, end timer. It goes right back to 25. You get a five minute break. Sorry, it's not showing that. You get a five minute break, another 25 minutes. Uh, and then a five minute, and then you get a longer break. And that might be for email. It might be to get a snack or, but during that 25 minutes, try the Pomodoro technique and maybe just in the chat box, maybe say you've used it, it helps or, uh, or maybe, uh, yeah, if, it, if it, it has helped you, maybe just chime in on that. Um, that. That has helped me. Physical activity, that might mean taking a walk. That might be doing some yoga. That might be stretching. That might be standing, you know, at your desk. My desk, believe it or not, does stand. And so that, they say that sitting, you know, is the new, you know, smoking and, and just standing changes things, right? And so maintain physical activity, walk your dog, right? If you're working virtually when you take a break, so do that, be kind to yourself and others. Uh, that's that's very uh, important. Um, and then the other is timing. We're gonna there's a slide coming up on that. So these are just a few things about boosting your time. We're gonna do we just we're gonna do maybe a four minute break here, uh, and we're gonna share out again on this. So all right, and some good things coming in to uh, to chat too. All right, summer. Um, the the question is what time boosters do you use to help you better manage your time? Okay. Perfect. And I've got it all, the breakout rooms set up correctly this time. So I am going to go ahead and open those up for, I we said five minutes. Let's do four minutes. Four minutes. All right. So we don't run out of time. <laughs> I'm going to have them automatically close this time after four minutes. So I'm open. All right. Very good. Thank you, Summer. Sorry about that. I know when you have host. Yeah, it gave yeah. me the option this time. <laughs> Very good. 
they should be being sent out. Um, Very good. Folks have to join, though, I think. I think almost, I think most people have joined. Um, okay. Hmm. Somebody was not assigned, so I'm just going to assign them to one. Okay, let us know if you're not assigned. You can... Do you want to be assigned? You're. I can't hear you. Tia. Yeah, I'll go to breakout room. Yeah, for sure. Okay, mm -hmm. and to assign you automatically. I'm. You're going. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Beth, did you want to be assigned? Do you want to hang out? I I didn't hear you, but I think you. Sorry, I I realized I was muted. <laughs> Um, I'll just hang out with you all. Sure. I had to, somebody was, I, I have a mental ear issue and I get dizzy really easy. And some, when people are exercising and their body's moving, that makes me, can make me dizzy. Uh, I never thought I about could that. see you. I had I to put you. something up to, to hide, to block that. So I, um, I actually get vertigo back sometimes and I, I have to take a medicine called anti-vert. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, I, yeah, the neurologist um, doesn't like me to take stuff. Yeah, I mean, because I know like Annie Bert makes but, it be. But with you, if the room's spinning, I'm going to take something. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad habit of, of moving back and forth. I don't know. I'm just a fidgeter. I, I just, until I started having this issue, I mean, like when, if you're like in church and people are standing, no one stands still, everybody sways. Wow, yeah. And you don't even notice that you're swaying. And, and then so, you notice that it makes you dizzy. Watching that movement of people sometimes can like, make me like wanna hurl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hard. And it, and it always catches me unaware because some days it does, some days it doesn't. But it, it's like, you know, when you're walking or riding a bike, you're automatically, you're, you're, you're rocking as you're doing it. Yes. But, I know, like, I know I'm standing now, but let me just go ahead and sit back down because sometimes when I stand, I start moving. <laughs> I, it's, I'm really... It, that's you know I do it now. I think we all just naturally do it. So it's, but when I'm seated, I don't do it as much. No, and then um, what people do, especially when they're nervous, they rock back and forth in their chairs. Because if you've ever, if you've ever like sat and watched people interview when they're interviewing for a job, a lot of times they rock, they swing in their chairs. I do that. I'm I'm swiveling right now. I remember when I was interviewing for a scholarship once. It was over the phone. And I found myself because I was uh, traveling in a hotel or something. I was like spinning around in the chair. It helped me think. <laughs> but I was like in this hotel's like conference room, like spinning around and around. I got the scholarship. So <laughs> I mean, it, it it's, it's really natural to do. And it's I think it's really comforting. Yeah, that's it for me. It's like a comfort. Thing. Yeah. And so like it, it but I had never noticed that until till one time we were interviewing somebody and somebody pointed that out. It's like, oh, they were really nervous. I'm like, I didn't pick that up. They're like, yeah, they were like, that chair was rocking. <laughs> you know, even when I, I'm shaking my leg right now and I'm not like nervous. No, it, it's, just it's just a fidgeting thing. Yeah, I mean, we all have it. But uh, when I stand, I'm more likely, you know, I will, I move. That's why I'm now, that's why I just decided not, you know, if I'm working and I'm standing, that's cool, but I don't, that's why I lowered my desk again, because I'm less likely to be moving when I'm seated. Everybody's filtering back in now. Okay, very good. Is it, is it, um, is it up officially or? Yeah, we've got 33 seconds. I'll wait then. To, okay, very to good. come back. Okay. And we were at 9.47, is that right? <laughs> that is right. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Time moves very quickly in these seminars. That is true. Yep. All right, everybody should be here in... 
a matter of seconds. Yep. All righty. All right. Welcome back, everybody. I know uh, you probably had some great ideas. And so let's just hear from uh, two or three. Uh, could somebody speak up for a, a group? Just go ahead and unmute to share with your time management boosters. What helps you manage your time better? I can go. Okay, thank you. So we talked about our calendars and how we have multiple calendars, um, paper calendars and digital calendars. That way we can keep track of everything. And then some of us have notebooks that we um, keep track of the time that we're doing things. Excellent, excellent calendars. Yes, indeed. Um, my official paper one, I finally put down. <laughs> and that was hard because I love that. I still do paper stuff, but uh, calendars are very helpful. Thank you. Uh, who would like to share next? Chris, were you uh, waiting to comment? Chris Igaden, were you wanting to share out maybe? Oh, no, 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 I wasn't. I, 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 uh, oh, thanks God. I, I discovered uh, that during my time uh, with my group, I was muted throughout and I was talking. So, oh, uh, no they problem. Didn't, they didn't hear what I said at all. So, no but, problem. Uh, yeah, but, maybe share, share an item or two that helps you manage your time. Right. Um, well, it's very different from the home office and the work office. Um, very, very different. Um, I tend to spend more time in my work, in my, in my home office, uh, in compensation uh, for the notion that I might not be given complete eight hours because I'm at home. Uh, there are several distractions and walking around and lawn mowing and all that stuff. So, um, but okay. um, the, the great, the greater part of of um, uh, my uh, sharing uh, would be that uh, uh, I do get an opportunity to uh, spend uh, more time doing some of the things that I really want to do. Uh, which have been clearly laid out for a particular time of the day, even though it takes me more time to achieve them, but I enjoy just walking around it till it's accomplished. Gotcha. So you focus on something it might take longer, but you stay with it till you get it done. Exactly. It makes me happy. That's yeah, it. very good. Thank you, Chris. How about one more time for one more? Our group found that turning off email notifications was huge um, because otherwise you become a slave to the, the ding and, and you just get sucked into that. So turning that off and then having designated times during the day where you spend uninterrupted time in the email to get it accomplished. Yes, thank you, Annie. That ding, 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 ding is a matter of, and I have turned mine off, but I know even you've probably been on presentations, right, where it's like, ding. <laughs> you know, you think it's yours, so that that's very helpful, and then also just budgeting um, one's time. Um, yeah, very good, super. Yeah, those are wonderful suggestions. Thank you, Annie. And anybody else, just go ahead and put in the chat box. I think there's some others popping up there uh from k so super those are all good ideas all right let's just continue now with other time boosters I mentioned earlier about timing what this means is is that when you in a particular day over again let's say it's an eight-hour work day when do you focus your time on certain types of tasks and so there's all kinds of literature about this one of the ones that I find help is called When. This is about the scientific secrets of perfect timing. This is actually from Pink's work. But for myself, I'm a lark. There's owls or third birds. You're one of these. How do you know which type of bird you are? Owl typically means, hey, I do my best work in the evening, right? Or late at night. Third bird is in between. Lark is the morning. And so here's just some questions you can do on your own time. What time do you usually go to sleep? 
What time do you usually wake up? This would be not on like a day where you have to get up at a certain time, but like on a free day. Um, I hate to say, even for me on weekends, I'm, you know, by 10 p.m., if I'm out and about, you know, I mean, I am, it's midnight, I'm Cinderella, and I'm going to be going to the things are going to, things are going to change. And for me, it's 10 p.m., even, even on the weekends. And then even on the weekends, it's terrible, but around 5 a.m. or so, 5.30, you know, I'm up, I'm awake. And so I am, I'm, I'm a lark. And so how, how do I know that is, so for me, we do 10, what's the middle of those two times? Sorry about that. Is I would do 10 p.m. for me, 5 a.m. for wake up. The midpoint for that, there's a, that's seven hours of sleep. So that's three and a half hours. I add three and a half hours to 10 p.m. And it brings me to 1.30 a.m. That makes me a lark. See where that lark is between 12 and 3.30 a.m.? See that? Some of you probably know what you are without even doing this. The owl, 6 a.m. to noon, third bird. Percentage-wise, based on studies, 65% of us are third birds. It means we're in between. About 21% of us are owls or night birds, and then 14% are larks. And so depending on your sleep patterns or habits, here are some suggestions here. So like if you're doing analytical tasks and you're a lark, that would be early morning, third bird, mid early to uh, uh, early to mid morning, owl evening. And you can see these others right here. You, so think about where you need to devote most of your energy on something. For me, later in the day, it might as well be things that are just task oriented. And maybe they're doing emails. Maybe there's some things that I'm doing with assignments uh, that I'm working on with my students. But if I have to be, you know, really analytical, you know, or creative, you know, I need to do my high energy time, and that's going to be more in the morning. So timing, timing is important. Okay. Um, the last regular full slide that I wanted to share is about time management matrix. Um, this is from former President Eisenhower just realizing that only had so much time in a given day. It was adapted by, by Covey. Uh, there's a lot of books um, you know, that, that Covey has that you probably have read. But the main points on this quadrant is what's urgent and what's important, all right? See the, um, the row up top, urgent, and then the column is importance. If you look at the urgent column, that's often, um, when there's an important, that's quadrant one, that would be when things come up. There's a crisis, there's pressing problems. We often don't have a choice, but we have to get to it. If we look at quadrant three and four, quadrant three would be not important, you know, but it's urgent. That's when, you know, you're, you have an interruption or something, and it may not be important at all, but you're being courteous, you need to respond to it, and, and, you, and you work with that. Quadrant four, this is where it's not important, it's not urgent, and what happens, we're watching cat videos, or we're simply, you know, just scrolling through something on social media. We really want to avoid, especially when we can just say no, especially to quadrant three, quadrant four. One, sometimes we just have to deal with. They say that quadrant two is the sweet spot. It's important, and at the moment, it's not urgent. And what that means is that we can be more creative, we can be thoughtful, and we can work on things that are important, but we don't have to turn it around in just a minute or two, okay? So take a look at that. Two is a sweet spot. One we have to deal with because it is urgent sometimes and, and important. Three and four, we can just say no, okay? And so just in closing, wanted to say that, you know, bad news is time does fly. And that happens too, as, as we know, as we get older, because time is relative, right? One year of a life when you're in, you know, your 50s is different than when, let's say, you're 15, right, percentage-wise. The good news is, is that, is that you're the pilot. You do, you know, control your time, hopefully, hopefully to some extent. You know, focus on, you know, the time boosters. 
but keep in mind that our time here, you know, on this earth, I mean, you know, in the big picture, time goes by as limited. So that sort of helps with focusing on what's important, right, in the big picture. Okay. So, so keep all of those things in mind, especially focus on your time boosters. Okay. I think we have two minutes. This is this is the other member of the family that I did not share at the beginning. This is Timmy, Timmy Kibble. He's getting ready for his morning shower. He's got a shower cap on. Uh, <laughs> um, he can be a distraction, but um, but we love him. Uh, so thank you so much. I, I know we have just a couple more minutes, but um, Summer, I'm going to turn things over to you as we wrap things up. Be glad to you know answer any questions. I know we're we're about at uh, at 10 a.m. But thank you so much. Appreciate all your input, especially. Um, after the breakout rooms. Yes. Um, and I posted a session evaluation in the chat. If you have a moment to just give us some feedback, we do read these. And um, also, if you have any ideas for future sessions, that's where you'll put that in there too. So we thank you for being here today. And if you have any questions, I don't know, Dr. Shear, um, if you have a couple minutes to, to hang around just in case. You bet. Sure. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Have a good rest of the day. All right. <clears throat> good luck with managing your time. I know it's easier said than done. <laughs> I'll be working on it, too. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Susie. Time booster. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. mm -hmm. We have down to eight people in the room. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, thank you, Beth and Summer. Really appreciate it. Um, glad we finished within the time frame. <laughs> thank you, Scott. Thank you very much. Thank hey, you. Hey, Chris, really, thank you. Thank really you appreciate your tricks. <laughs> thank you for the tricks. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I think. Um, these others might have just stepped away. Yeah, that could be uh, no problem. Yeah, very well, good. Well, thank you very much. Um, we really appreciate your time. You bet. About how many did we have on total? I know when I you know, about, record things. At most, 30, 35 was 35. like top okay. number. Then I'll put that. Very good. Sure. Yeah, I record, thank recorded you for that. Um, for asking that, Scott, because I want to make sure I get that recorded. And I have a I have have records from every about every 15 minutes on this document Jared gave me. So and I send that over to him too. Super. I just know um for when we have a report, you know, they want to know the number of folks. So that's, well, that's super. Well, thank you again. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for a good day, everybody. Yeah, you too, Beth. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.